I'm ready. <laughs> Hello, Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans. This is Dark Dimensions Haunted House. Today's video is on building the wrenches for the truck driver from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here at Dark Dimensions Haunted House, we build these wrenches right here. We use the mold and we make them out of resin. We paint them and age them to make them look just like the movie. In this video, we'll show you how we do it. All right, so the first step to making these wrenches, they're made of resin. We have a part A and a part B. These are from Brick in the Yard Mold Supply. Pretty simple, all you do is you just mix A and B, equal amounts. I have this right here, this is the mold. And we just pour it inside here. And then, when we pull it out, we'll have these wrenches. All right, so I'm gonna pour equal amounts in these cups right here, and then I'm gonna mix it inside this green cup. I'm gonna stir a popsicle stick. Make sure that you wear gloves. This stuff is very difficult to get off. So I'm gonna start with part A. And part B. All you want is you want to make sure it's an equal amount right there. Pour it too much, so I'm going to pour it like that. And they're equal. So I'm going to pour A and B. And then once I get it all in there, I'm going to stir it. You have limited time, and it starts heating up, and then it'll dry up and become all hard. So you have about Probably 30 seconds. Mix it up really good. Make sure you get the sides. Went back and forth. All right, I can feel it kind of warming up right now. That means it's bonding together, the chemicals. So it's time. this right here so let's see how this mold turned out. Yep. These are the wrenches that Ed Quinn, the truck driver, the Black Maria truck driver, uh, sells at the convention. So they're either available at the convention when you meet him or if you go to STX Media to get info or get the wrenches. So right now we're just giving it, releasing it from this mold. It will have all the beautiful wrenches just like this right here. As soon as I fix it up. There, there's one of the wrenches. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Dremel and then I'll fix it up. All right, so I have this black spray paint right here. It's a black mat from Rust-Oleum and I'm gonna spray just the top part of the wrench. If 
bug on Yeah. Dry. And then I'll do the next step on them. All right, so the next step after painting the black on these wrenches right here, I'm gonna use this color paint right here. It's a pumpkin, it's an acrylic paint right there. I have the brush, I'm gonna do a dry brush on it, and then I'm gonna be turning it out like this right here to give it that rust look on there. going to give it that like camouflage look when you're first doing the dry brush but you just keep on working at it and just keep on dabbing and then eventually you'll get the look that you want it just keep on working keep on dabbing step is I'm going to be doing the handles they're red so I have this paint right here it's gloss enamel and it's Tuscan red from Americana so I'm just going to put a little bit of red paint here start painting the handles and there's a couple more steps and then the wrenches are done Next step on these wrenches, I'm going to do the, the handprints on there, like the grease handprints. So I have this right here. So paint, it's uh, black and it's gloss. And I put some on the paintbrush. And then I get to paint my hand. Those are going to be handprints. Get on there on the hand part. You just, just put some on there. Do a couple, and I'll come back. I'll Alright, so one last step, final step to finish these wrenches is I have a Sharpie Silver and all I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some uh, accent right here. Like this part, I'm going to do a silver, I forgot my napkin, but I usually kind of blot it just to, like that. Uh, let's see, I'll do other stuff to it. Oh, you're trying to see. Just give it some like nicks. Let's see. A couple little pieces right here. And then I'll just add a couple little little stuff like that on these wrenches just to give it a Nice look, it'll look more realistic. Alright, so I'm gonna finish these and then when I'm done, we'll be dropping them off with Ed Gwynn, the truck driver of the Black Maria truck. I got lazy on it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to a professional and tell him I said so. Oh, we will. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're fantastic, man. Um, 
Right on. Thank you, man. Yeah. The thing Sal was telling me about uh -huh. was he was saying that the original one was made of wood? Yep, balsa wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, not even hardwood. Yeah. So, I thought that was neat information. Yeah, and also because they were custom made for the film, it's, it doesn't oh, yeah. work. Yeah. A real wrench would have a, a hand that would go up and down. Yeah. And, and so Bob made those, the balsa wood ones, uh, with uh, just so they look right. Yeah. You know, because here's a shot from the movie of the actual wrench man in the yeah, car. Yeah, trying to get in there and zoom in. And yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, in the film, it's like really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you knock his coffee over. Okay, so you need to get in position where you're kind of more here. More over here. So you're going to swing. Okay. Right there? Oh no, it's right there. He's not going to hit you. Come on, man, relax. Yeah, go ahead and hit him. It didn't hurt him. That's right. <laughs> get there. Okay. So he's going to see what he's going to hit the air next to you, but you need to react because if he's hitting it, it's going to burn Yeah. So I'm going to hit it out here. Yeah, hit there. Okay. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. <laughs>